well uh, welcome first um, we started uh, this temple and we call it a pito and uh, do you want to come this in are you able to see This kind of a temple is very unique. It is one of its kind outside India. There is nothing like this. And uh, within India also, there are only couple of them or very few of them that you can count on your uh, one hand fingers. Um, this this pitam has been established by our Swamiji. is a shankaracharya kopalam shankaracharya his name is c c c teshwarananda bharati swami ji he is a shankaracharya <coughs> and um, she is uh, uh, you know shakti pitadishwari in the shankar sampradaya she is one the first pitadishwari in the shankar sampradaya so let me talk uh, few words about the deities here the main deity is lalita devi uh, if you know her that is the adi shakti parashakti raja rajeshwari she is the main deity to her right you will see her minister raja shamala or raja mathandi to her left she is the commander in chief varahi devi um so let me talk if you If you pray to the Divine Mother, you will get everything for sure. Her speciality, Raja Shyamala's uh, Devi's speciality is, if you pray to her, it helps with interpersonal relationships, career, um, anything to do with interpersonal relationships. That is what she is in charge of. And to her left, you see Varahi Devi. Varahi Devi is a commander in chief of Shakti Sena. Uh, when Lalita Devi came from Manipur to kill Pandasura, you know, she she manifested herself into various forms, and these are all her forms. When you pray to Varahi Devi, you can overcome any legal issues, land related issues. Real estate issues or various other legal related issues, you will work. You can overcome that when you pray to her. Then we have Shipra Ganapati. Shipra Ganapati means uh, Shipra means fast. It it's basically lightning speed. So the speciality of that that whole idol is made of net. Okay. and uh, <clears throat> when you pray to him all obstacles will be removed at lightning speeds that is what is the benefit of praying to shukra ganapati i hope people can follow english okay so and then you have kala bhairava everybody knows who kala bhairava is is uh, you know without his blessings you can no one no one can enter into kashi varanasi He is the husband of Kali Mata. She is right here, so they are facing each other. Then you have Shani Shwara, meaning nothing ever happens without the blessings of Jupiter, Guru, and Shani, Shani Shwara. So every Saturday we have Taila Bishika to reduce the effect of Shani. nobody can remove the effect of shani all you can do is reduce the effect of shani there are various stories that have been told now once i believe uh, shani bhagwan goes to hanuman and tells hanuman ji you are the most powerful person but your sadhasati has come i have to do my job please allow me to do please give me permission to do my job then anuman ji says okay that's fine since um, you're asking me i'll tell you one thing uh, i'm sitting on this hill right so there is a 
old burrow under this hill. Go inside. Let me finish my work and then I'll call you and then you do your job and then you can go. So as soon as Sunny goes inside, he sits on that mountain and then Shani can't come outside. So one month he says, okay, after seven and a half years, okay, seven and a half years is over. Now I'll ask him to come out and then I'll tell him you can do your job at seven and a half years is over, right? So you can't do, so you have to go back. So he says, Shani, come out. And he comes out and he says, you know what? I was very busy, but you know, <clears throat> Seven and a half years is over, right? You can't do your sadhya sati on me. Unfortunately, the time is over. He says, Then Shani Bhagwan prostrates in front of Anwar and says, Swamiji, I did my job already. To Anwar. Then Anwar says, Oh, how did you do it? For seven and a half years, I didn't make you go. You were sitting right there. Right? So that is the effect of Shani. You can only reduce the effects of failure, especially Shani Dharma. So to do that, um, we have Shani Bhagwan there. And uh, then uh, we have Baba. Um, ours is a Shankara Pitam. It is the only Shankara Pitam where we believe Baba is God. No other Shankara Pitam accepts them as, him as God because he is a very good friend of our founder, Mohan Swami. They both uh, exchanged a lot of ideas and they were best of friends and we, we believe in him. He's a Siddha Yogi and he is also God. So we, we all our Pitam branches has Sai Baba there. Kali Mata, she is in charge of time. If you lose time, will you get it back? No. So, She's also a Divine Mother. Then Pratyendra, to whom today we have uh, done Vishish, Vishesha Puja. Usually, a lot of people back home, they do <coughs> prayogas, evil, um, evil spells, prayogas, what is a black magic and others, and also evil like Drishti, Nara Drishti, various, various Drishtis are there. She is in charge of removing them, and if anybody does an evil spell, she repels it. So that is the effect of um, praying to her. And then Dumavati. These are all the goddesses of the Samahavidyas. The Samahavidya is uh, the um, you know, ten, ten manifestations of the Divine Mother. Dumavati Devi, she is a widow. Very, very powerful uh, Divine Mother. And uh, all gods and goddesses will be going and say, Mother or Divine Father, please give me this, please give me that. She is a very special lady. She is a Uchatana Vidya. Uchatana means remover. So you should go and ask her, please remove this, please remove. You should not say, I want this, I want that. You should ask, please remove this. So for example, if we have some sort of an addiction, we should go and ask her, please remove addiction. Or please remove this, uh, you know, a lot of people have anger issues. Please remove anger from me. So that is what, that is how you pray to her. That is her speciality. So as you see, every deity is very special, very specific purpose. You will never find these deities anywhere else. Um, very, very powerful Divine Mothers and Divine Energies. We named this Sri Devi Pita. Um, this is all about women empowerment. We are the only Pitam, Shankar Pitam, where we have instilled a woman as a Pita Ishwari. Never happened first time. Um, our Swamiji is more very progressive. In fact, he's a rebel. So, we are all about women empowerment and we strongly believe that Sanatana Dharma is surviving all these assaults for all these thousands of years because of one thing. That is because 
Ours is the only dharma which respects women. We pray women as Bala, Bala Puja, then Suhasini Puja, and various other pujas. That ours is the only dharma which you know uh, encourages that, and we follow that. That is what um, we have. Ever. And then we have some special deities there. That is Siddheshwar Swami, and this is Siddheshwari Devi. This is Mahameru. And all the Vikrahas except the Ganesha, which is made of lead, Baba, which is Marthu, um, everything is Panchalono with the right combination of the followed, uh, we followed Shastra related, uh, you know, whatever is prescribed in the Shastra. The Shivalinga and Meru are not hollow. They are completely panchaloham, complete panchaloham. Uh, Amavaru Mahameru is, I think, a little over 340 kilos or something like that. And uh, Shiva is around uh, 200 kilos approximately, plus or minus. So you will again never find a Shivalinga or panchaloham anywhere in the world except here. They have unique uh, um, divine energies in them. Praying to them solves a lot of issues very quickly. Um, every Friday we have Lalita Sasana. Every day we have Lalita chanting here. But on Friday we have a Vishish uh, chanting after the Abhishekam for the Meru. <clears throat> we, are, we want to make it 108 chanters per Friday. I think we are, we achieved it or we are very close to, but we want women 108 Suvasanis chanting it here, 108 women chanting. So please spread the word and uh, everybody is welcome. We have Navratris coming, we have wonderful programs. Uh, please try to see if you can come and spend your time here for between uh, 6 to um, 8.30ish around. 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock we have a uh, lot of uh, musical um, programs, um, you know, Sangeeta, Kacheris and everything. Small little, little kids are coming and performing. We welcome you to come and participate and, uh, you know, encourage them. After that we, we will have Visesha Puja to the Divine Mother. And um, these are the programs and every day we have Chandi Homam in the morning. If you need further details, they'll be available and if you want to sponsor, feel free to participate.